Welcome to my channel. Today, I will be having spaghetti. Oh, let me just spaghetti, broccoli, plain old garlic bread. I will quick let me see in the house. <laughs> I was like, okay, it is what it is. Okay. All right. Ooh, give me some good old water first. Good old water. I got my daughter behind me, the mystery daughter. She's going to be on camera one day. Right, Caitlin? You're going to show yourself on camera one day, right? Mm. She said yes. Oh, she said, mm -hmm. oh, I got me some good old watermelon for dessert. Watermelon for dessert. Let's come up with a bit and see. Yeah, I guess y'all can see it like that. Mm -hmm. You hot look? No, this food good. Oh, okay. Then put me some Parmesan cheese on on all of it. I love it on broccoli too. Yes. Pour it, pour it, pour it. Yeah, pour I ain't had no broccoli. Cause I had my juice that we were supposed to be drinking together, but you left me. Oh, okay. I forgot all about that. Mm -hmm. I didn't want no juice this morning because I was gonna have this for for lunch today. And what about yesterday? Um, yes, this remains the same. And the day before that? Um, I had some day before that dinner. No. Oh. You didn't have juice number once. Mm, one time? No, twice. Twice? Was it twice? No, you had it once. When was that? When we first did it. Mm. And you said, mm, I gotta get used to this taste again. And you never tasted it again. Oh. I'm gonna drink some though, Luca. I know it's good for me. I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna stop saying it. Um, I'm gonna drink it. I'm going to drink it. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. Gotta get it up on the spot. I love the shell noodles with this. Me too. Mm-hmm. But I didn't have it. Mm. Oh, get your bite. Mm. Where he go out fast? Hmm? Where he go out fast? Who? Must be dead out there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you heard some more one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I heard too. So the game we're gonna be playing today is twenty questions. Oh <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna be asking you twenty questions and you gotta answer. Okay. So the first question is what random stranger has had the biggest impact on your life? Brand Random. Um had it. Okay. At yeah, one time I was at Virginia at the um bank waiting in line for the bank to open in the morning. And when I when I finished my transaction at the time, you know, we're going to the bank. This man came to my car. I was, you know, you get scared, man walk up on you know. And he began to talk to me. Um he didn't tell me some things that I knew he could not know about me. And when he got finished talking and telling me what he was telling me, I got to have, I was already in my car sitting in the window, you know, crack, you know, cook talking, he talked to me. And I got my car ready to go. And I was scared to look back because I knew who I was talking to. Mm-hmm. Okay. The next question is, what achievement are you proud of, but most people would consider silly or weird? Achievement that I am proud of. Silly or weird. Um, somebody I'm proud of. Probably somebody done. And it is, oh! You remember I fixed that puzzle? That little puzzle thing that Calvin had? Mm-hmm. I would jump them down. That guy wanted me now. <laughs> Somebody could something all crazy about what happened, cuz. That thing would defeat me. Mm. 
What mm-hmm. period in history do you think had the best um fashion? Now, I'll be honest with you, Katie. <clears throat> Back in the seventies, it looked the crazy. <laughs> It looked like crazy the years passed. But when you look back at it now, they had a good style. They had them bell bottom pants to fit them. Afros. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I think that was a I think back in the seven was a per, that was a nice style. That was a nice style. I I, I feel that way. I really do. I really do. Okay. I like their style. And they was they was fly with it. You know what I'm saying? They were strutting it when they were. They knew they looked good. <laughs> Especially the men. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Food so good. Wait a minute, Katie. Wait a minute, Katie. I gotta get a hallelujah praise. Hallelujah. 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 Boom. This is good. I love broccoli. And I love spaghetti. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We get a hallelujah praise. All right, the next question is, what silly or funny thing makes you afraid or creeps you out? I already know the answer to that, even if you don't know it for yourself. For me. Mm-hmm. Silly. Oh, a mice. No, a clown. Oh, Lord, yes. Oh, I don't like clowns. Mm. There's something about a clown. I'm telling y'all, I can't do clowns. I don't like clowns. Clowns. Clowns do freak me out. She right, a mice do too. But, but I don't think a, a mice is silly or funny. Well, they, they, they really is, because I'm telling you the truth. You remember you said you saw that mice that time? And you said with two of them running together? And you said one stopped and looked back at you? <laughs> you know what you told me? When you said one stopped and looked at you? <laughs> Did you know what you told me? I don't remember. <laughs> you remember that? Mm. The next question, how quickly do you <laughs> jump to conclusions about people? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Very, I don't really jump to conclusions about people real fast. Mm-mm. Because one thing I try to pick them up, unless you come my present, or you really is clowning. And yeah, I might jump to conclusions about you then. Or you come off real harsh or... You show such an ugly side. Yeah, I'm going to get a conclusion about your damn. Most time now, not bad. All right, the next question is, what is the most important change that should be made to your country's education system? Hmm. Hmm. The, the, the most important thing I think to change my education, to the education system is... I feel that the children, I'm talking about 100%, the children should come first. I think the teachers need to be taught a little bit more when they get the job that the children should come first. And now, I'm not going to say all teachers put the children first. Don't get me wrong, because we got some good teachers out here. We got some just won't get paid. Reason saying that. I work from to your friends. I work in the classroom with teacher. And that teacher so mean it make no sense. She just snatch them children up. Snatch them up. Snatch them up. And she had got to the point that she was treating those kids so bad. And when the parents came, she was, oh, come in, come in. And them children scared to go to her because they were like, oh, this you same woman used to snatch me up. Grab the arms and stuff. I'm looking at this. I'm watching this every day. So I share with one of my friends in the next door in the classroom. And she said it needs to be reported. So I went and went on to our family reporter. You not know when I reported it. They went against me. Yes, they did. Yes. The office, they went against me. I think she don't do no wrong. But what happened was, we went on a field trip. And when the parents went, just like what I just spoke about, Kate was asking me about um, how, you know, how soon I, you know, like I'm going to say, up a person. This particular parent caught her snatching her daughter. And y'all ain't going to believe me. We was in a public 
amusement amusement park. And that parent went off. And it was so bad, the principal that went with us had to go and calm her down. Said, we're going to handle this, we're going to school, we're going to handle this, we're going to handle this. So no one went back to school, they had to handle it. Because she was going all the way to the school board. That teacher got back. I ain't trying to lose a job. But you can't snatch on people's kids. You can't be doing stuff to people's kids and pitching them and stuff. Not in front of me, no way. Because I feel like that's, look, them, them churches, I'm thinking about my children too. I suppose that's my child. Hmm. Y'all know how they about children. I got to tell you. Okay, the next question is, what is something that you think you will regret in the future not starting now? And what is something you already regret not starting soon? Write my book. I wrote a book. I regret that it took so long to write it. Procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate. Finally wrote the book. I have not got it published yet. I don't know where I'm going to start. And the book's still sitting in my phone. Written. And have not been published. Yes, I regret it. I don't know where I'm going to get going. Get going, girl. Get going. Write that book. I'm going to finish um, publishing that book. I'm telling you, girl. If you start going and don't finish, you ain't did nothing. I regret it. Mm, what's so good? What is the world's worst... What is the worst guest you've had in your house and what did they do? <laughs> the worst guest I had in my house, what did they do? Mm -hmm. What was the worst guest and what did they do? I'm going to say. Oh, man. The worst guess I had in my house, what did they do? I ain't had too many people in my house as a guest. Mm. <laughs> I'm laughing because there are some things came in my mind. But I can't say it on the little video. <laughs> They might you know gotta about answer them. it truthfully. They might, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna know I'm talking about them. There's no mention on names. Hey, but they're gonna know it's them though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta answer truthfully. Mm. In my house. Okay. Rest guess. I, 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 I had this person came to my house. And every time they come to my house, they always, first thing we'll do when we feed them. And what did I do? Fed them. I'm talking about four, five times a week. That's a lot. I don't know who's family to feed me. Good old cold war. When does time pass fastest for you and when does it pass the slowest? It passed the fastest. When I'm probably what I what I like might like doing. I don't know because the stores when they want more than the herbal come. Hmm. The fastest probably. When I want you to get from work, Caitlin. No, oh, ain't that sweet. Uh huh. Can't wait to Caitlin get from work. Well, that's probably the slowest thing. I mean, that's the slowest, right? And the fastest one. Well, I got two slowest because I really want at nighttime. I don't know what it is. Sometimes at nighttime, I'm just I'm waiting for morning to come. I hate to rush time, but it's like you've been laying in the bed and you slept and you just wait for morning to come. Look at the watch. Every time you get up, go to the bathroom. You look at your watch. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> I'm, 
Oh, take your time. Mm-hmm, get your up now. You okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 What? I can see that too. Facts are you really surprised that more people don't know about? Mm. This is a difficult question. Mm. What facts do I know about that other people don't know about? I wish I knew about. No, what facts are you surprised that a lot of people don't know about? Mm. Mm. Um. Oh wow. Uh oh. That maybe so much stuff these days. Let me see. No. Well, I know for me, but I'm not really surprised that a lot of people don't know it. And that's black history. Oh, okay. Because I know the school I came from was the school I originally started going to before we moved. We celebrated black history month. Like, the whole school system. Mm -hmm. So, even in your class, you did your little black history projects during the month. And then you, they used to always hang stuff on the walls outside. Uh-huh. And so you saw it everywhere. So you learned black history. Uh-huh. But when, and it was a predominantly black school where we came from. Uh-huh. But when we moved to where I graduated from, which was not predominantly black, black history month was not recognized. Mm-hmm. So I do understand why a lot of people walk around and they have no idea of what black history is. Mm-hmm. You right. Like a lot of people don't know that they have a time set back, set us to set on the calendar for, well, I don't know if it's on the calendar, but they, they acknowledge it, is Latinos. Cinco, what is it called? Cinco de Mayo. Mm-hmm, Cinco de Mayo. And we feel in our division, close to some Latinas and they celebrate. Mm-hmm. And they celebrate. It's like their Independence Day. Exactly. And some of the neighbors get mad. But I don't. Because they have called me at 10 o'clock at night. You hear all that music? Yeah. Well, we gonna, the other neighbor want to call the cops. No, I ain't got to do with it. Because they don't, it's not bothering me. I actually tune down, look at TV, and go back to sleep. Go to sleep. That's how I feel. I let mean, people know, let people enjoy life. A lot of people like with music and stuff like that. Now, if it's really, really yes. terrible, yes, and that's another story. But for the most part, you can hear it. But if you have your TV on, or you if tune. you and, mm-hmm. and I feel like we're the closest to them. Well, for the ones that we that was complaining, mm-hmm. we're probably much the closest to them. And if it's not bad enough for us to call the police, I don't think it's bad enough for nobody else to call exactly. the police. Exactly. And everybody had their little party sometimes. I mean, we live back in the woods. So, you know, it's not like we're right next to each other. Like, some people in the city, in the suburbs mm-hmm. is. Like, you can walk two feet and be to the next house. But a lot of nice houses back here because people will be back in the woods. We're not like that. So, I feel like we're unless it's yo, you sh- shat, your stuff shat, like shaking in your house, mm-hmm. then it's too loud. But if it's just you can hear but you can tune it out. It shouldn't bother nobody. We live off the road. Because we can see the road from my we house. We live in the woods. All this is open. Woods. They back in the woods. Because they got, they got trees and on woods. right now. Oh. Oh. oh, good call. Where we moved from? The, the sticks. <laughs> oh, okay. Because it was worse. Yeah, it was worse. Okay. What are you completely over and done with? Mm. 
I gotta pick a good one for that. I got a lot of them in my mind. I am completely and done with people trying their best to rule my life. Yeah, I was weak back in the day. My children had to get me some, what they call it, big girl draws. In fact, I said that. Because I used to let a lot of stuff try to keep me down. I'm done with that. You can't define me. I'm done. Stick a fuck in it. I'm done. That's my answer for that. What yes. memory do you just keep going back to? Childhood. What living, memory in specific? Living at home. When I was growing up, thank God my grandmama raised me and my three sisters. Two sisters. Two sisters, my bad. But she, the doors, didn't have proper locks like we got on our doors. Now, we got to remember, y'all, I'm talking about my grandma was an old lady. <laughs> oh, excuse me, an old lady. And we were young. No locks on the doors. She would take a nail, front door and back door, nail it to the wall, side of the thing, the wall, the door, and bend it and pull it over. Now, you know anybody can get in there. And then when the winter come, the cracks in the door you had to put. I know somebody, somebody I know what I'm talking about. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. News, roll newspaper up that newspaper back and forth, back and forth, and put it in the crack. So, hey, I won't get in. That's, the, that's a nightmare. I mean, I dreamed about this still. And thinking I'm back there. And, all, and, and wake up like, oh, I'm okay, good animal. Thank you. Thank God my grandma took care of us, but that was rough. Okay, next question. Mm -hmm. What's the most immature thing your children have done? You be honest, and one for each. And if you don't want to embarrass, just say one child, one child. So you ain't got to, we know you got a son and daughter, but one child, one child, if you don't want to specify who did what. Most embarrassing thing one of them did. Well, one of them was in college at the time. And I hope if you listen, honey, this is for a lesson for you. Don't get mad at mama. I know you look at my videos. Well, you just told it. I ain't said which I'm one. Here. You said well, I know you look at my videos. He ain't gonna know I'm talking about him. I'm not gonna the bag. <laughs> that joker knew that he was not keeping his grades up. And was still going to school. And when they called me and I went down there, I called him on the phone. I said, what you doing? In class. I said, come here. I'm outside. I'm coming. I'm in class. I'm, come here. Come here now. Come here. Come outside. I said, when he that joke got in that car, I thought that, I, I thought he was crazy. You can't steal. You can't steal education. But we got him back in school. He learned from it. He ain't did it no more. Graduated and got on out of there. But you know, young people. Young, young people. <laughs> Both children. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah, got yeah. some flaws too, honey. I, I said both. And this ain't gonna be edited. <laughs> I said both. Let me tell you what this girl done. Okay. And we gonna do parents next. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, that's one of the questions. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We gonna do parents next. Is it on parents or children? Yeah, I can show you the question. Oh, Lord. You know what she tried to do, don't you? What? She love it. She gonna try to get back. It ain't get back. It's just that we just play the game. That I was embarrassed for something you done too. Yes. Girl. When you were young. In elementary school. You in class. Tell those kids that the parents already taught them that it is a Santa Claus. And that's sad. You know you can't do this, so. That was your fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, Samantha. Come here, Samantha. Can't put me on the spot. I'm gonna think of nothing else. Come here, Samantha. You gotta be a part of this video for a little second. You get no care. Matt, I don't care. And she had to tell them kids that when I had a good teacher called me down to the school. That wasn't my fault. That was your fault. But teacher called me down to the school. But that wasn't my fault. Yeah, that was I your told fault. you want no Santa Claus. Because 
Jimmy Cross didn't get no credit for all this hard work we'd have done. And they told me, young um, Miss Brown, we, your daughter just can't tell children that there is no Santa Claus. There are some children that really do believe in Santa Claus. And I had to take up the bag. I said, well, y'all got to blame it on me because I was the one that teaches my children that there is no Santa Claus. And I was so embarrassed. She did it in front of the whole class. No, then you got to tell the whole story. Okay. It's, that's not why I didn't just pop out and say that a sad meant the teacher gave was we had to write a letter to Santa Claus. Uh -huh. And I said I was not going to write a letter to Santa Claus because Santa Claus is not real. They kept insisting I had to do it. And I kept saying no because why am I going to write a letter to something that I don't believe in because it's not real. So that was the back and forth we were going through. And that's why you got called. And well, just, I just blurted out there's no Santa Claus. Oh, I didn't know you went back and forth with the teacher. Yeah, because why would, if they tell me to write a, uh, if, and the mind you, I was in what, second grade at this time? Mm -hmm. So I was a child. Now you didn't still to be, oh, there's no such thing as Santa Claus, there's no such thing as Santa Claus. And I get a claim, it's to write a letter to Santa Claus. I'm like, no. But if you keep telling me, I'm going to keep saying no. I'm not writing a letter to somebody that ain't real. <laughs> well, you going to put that on me? Yes. Okay. And I ended up writing, who I ended up writing a letter to? Let's see if you can remember. I don't know. I forget. I, read it, I wrote it to my grandma. But anyway. I don't remember that. What mom just did, she had to tell something. We playing the Grand Cup 20 questions. One of the questions is name something embarrassing your children have done. So she named one for both, they both me and you. Me. Yours was when you was at Virginia State. Mine was when I told the kids that I didn't believe in Santa Claus and they had to come down to school. So now we have to tell something that each of our parents have done that embarrassed us. Very so cool. I can't speak for you. So ready? Well, you got to tell one for mama and you got to tell one for daddy. Oh, one for your daddy, too. He's our parent. Mm. You didn't just tell one of your children. You told both your children. So. We're going to the gang going. <laughs> what? Let's get ready to come, y'all. Get ready. Get ready. We're coming. What you guys say? We call him Smurf. Oh, I know what you should think of Smurf, but I can't even, tell you. I've been calling him Smurf for all his life. When he was born, he was blue looking. Thank the Lord he here. But we've been calling him Smurf. Go ahead, Spur. Beat on me. No, <laughs> please. <laughs> but they think of nothing. Spur can't think. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you can't give him your ideas. Mm-mm. You no. <laughs> That's not his idea. That's you don't remember that? How is she going to tell him her you idea? You don't remember that? If he ain't got no idea and tip what I've done, you put it going to tell him what I've done. You embarrassed when that happened. Murph, if it ain't your idea, let Kay say her idea. What's your idea? I, I, was, embar I was embarrassed for him. So he only had what I tell but what I was embarrassed for him that you did. Didn't because. ask you. <laughs> you got anything about your daddy you embarrassed you was embarrassed stuff? Huh? Did you say your daddy his daddy too? Yeah. Uh huh. You said something about your daddy. Yeah I got one well, I let Smurf go first. I got one. Okay go ahead Smurf. Well, I have to think of what did you did to him. Oh, good. When we were younger, my mama, the, my daddy left one morning. I don't remember How if you, you told us you was leaving. Else's story? I don't know if you told us you was leaving or not. But we used to die. Let me give you a little backstory. We used to live across from an adult home. That, and they were, they used to come over all the time knocking on the door. And they were crazy. They weren't crazy. They was there was not, you can't say they were crazy. There was insane. Hello. She gone, she got a phone call. You moving on. Don't let her yeah, trap yeah. you, Smith. But that little girl right there, that little girl, oh, that's my fault. She always got to answer for something. And she always right. Mm -hmm. Now, she's going to tell his story for him. I just want to tell his story. And what I wonder what she's gonna say about her dad. Probably gonna tell you how the real follow direction on the road. Mm, mm, mm. This one of mine is really good. Now, it's not all the time that you can find a good watermelon. I have been to the store for the last I know two years. Yeah, but we weren't like. And the watermelon was just a smooth. The doctor was just a smooth. 
And um, I mean the doc, the watermelon was light looking color. I can tell a good watermelon because y'all know I'm on my video. I told you about the watermelon story. Go check that video out. I think I told the watermelon story, um, how we were getting them good watermelons on the one that I did um, sit and talk. And I had a whole plate of watermelon. Almost. I don't know why. Watermelon is really good. I love it. She wanted to tell on somebody's story. Let me tell some of her story. And my son's still standing there. He, I guess he can attest to this. It says something. He's a mystery son too. Don't be on camera. Every birthday my son had when she was a little girl. She couldn't stand the fact that he so was being celebrated. Because we do a birthday cake and celebrate everybody's birthday and give him gifts. Her birthday, she got everything good. His birthday come. All the camera pictures, she said that. She mad. She wants to blow out his candles. She don't want him to have his day. She fussing and crying. Because of his birthday, and she can't control it. Can I get an amen, Smear? Because you know I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth about that. <laughs> you see it happen. She ain't even said nothing about that, though. Mm, mm, mm. But you know, I love when we do things as my children grow up and as, and as they see me because it gives us something to sit down. When I ever get, we ever get grandchildren and we can reminisce and sit back and <laughs> tell some of the things. Okay, I, I forgot to cut off that notification and y'all to go with my husband calling me. Mm, mm, mm. I got to cut the notifications off. Mm.